Hey, what's up you amazing hackers? Hope you're all doing well today and welcome back to the labs. Today we're going to focus on the IDOR but post IDOR because we have quite a few IDOR labs here. I'm going to put these solutions here as well. If you need a hand, click this button. Lab 1 is very simple. You can register and you can log in with a certain user. But you seem to be able to delete posts of other users, which you should definitely not be able to do, of course. That's not your job. You're not an admin or anything. In 02.php I've tried to make it a little bit more complicated because here as you can see if you log in so you can register and you can log in you can see other posts you can create your own post but then here you get this delete button and you can actually change the identifier so let's say that we want to delete two for example delete and there we go it's gone the reason I do this is because I want to teach you progressively how to work with these post IDORs. So it's a post request that's being made here, you have to keep that in mind. And if we go to 03.php, you will see that there's nothing pre-populating the database. Or at least there shouldn't be anything pre-populating the database. Let's log in. It is of course there we go when we log in again, we can see that only our own messages appear here. And why do I do this? Because this is your eventual goal. You're gonna have to make two accounts here. You're going to have to log in with the second account and then you can see other people's data. This is important because sometimes you're going to get a separate tenant account, which means that you might not be able to see other accounts data directly. You still need to have those identifiers. How will you get those identifiers? just create another account. So that is a little bit of progressive post idler teachings here. Very simple. I haven't shown you how to hack this with things like Burp Suite yet, but there isn't a whole lot of difference. We'll get into that in the next video though. All right, amazing hackers. Now let's talk about Burp Suite or how to use Burp Suite to look for this. I'm gonna be using the community edition. I don't have the latest updates. Go slot me for it. Here that we can see that we can use authorize for example. I'll give you a complete authorize guide in a different video. That's not what this is about. I am going to not set up my there we go. So I'm going to set up my scope first and I just need labs.hexpert.com in scope. So there we go. And now we can start our proxy. If you guys want some easy settings, these are just some quick tips, just a different video of mine again. But these are some good settings to put on in Burbs because you don't want to be limited by anything, if you know what I mean. Let's go to labs.hexpert.com and here we can see already one of those hidden fields. <laughs> So let's see if we can at least. Uh, we're working on the UI by the way, so stick with us there if you have some problems. But you can just uh, minimize it to control minus or you um, or command minus here in your either with post action in lab one. I can see that I can register with a user. We can investigate that call, but not much point. And we can see that we can delete posts. Let's just pretend that we are at only zero to the PHP now. And we can only see that delete button with our own posts. Let's see if this is in the same No, So we'll have to register again quickly. That's no problem. I just use the same username and password. And then I can create a message and I can see that delete button. In Burp Suite, in the HTTP history, you can see that post go. Here you can see the post action is delete and the post index is three. But we can again send this to the repeater and we can do the two, we can do the one, etc. Now, just so you know, your authorize will not work on this. Why is that? because everything is basically saved into session. So you'll have to be a little bit smart about this. How are you going to do this? Very simple. It's basically not a lot different than with others. You just open an incognito tab or something, or you have these plugins as well, which you can use, and then you can just fill in everything you need with authorized, click around as you normally would in these labs. 
just a little bit of a heads up there. All right, my friends, let's move on to the next section. Now, for <laughs> if you're interested in this, of course, a little bit of extra information on our labs here. This is all done through post requests. We can clearly see that, of course, if we go into our proxy tab into the history. Now we can clearly see here that this is in post request, but you can see that this is both for create, read, update and delete actions. I don't have any update actions in here yet. They might come, so if they come, you can expect a video on the update actions of other users as well. Would be interesting, I think, to mix in. But these post actions can be different things, of course. So like post index, and then a action for a update, a action for a read. And this is going through post, but you can never forget that you can also just put this in get. So you can also, oops, let me see where it is again. So you can, I don't remember where it is exactly. Oh, of course. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, good job Wes, I am not looking at the repeater. Here in the repeater I can change the request method and everything can be get as well. So in this instance you could have an no idors on the post button either on the get for some strange reason and it's definitely possible even though that get might not be routed within your application. Not in this case once again but might come in the future. You can expect another video on that. Now, if you are watching this on YouTube and interested, go to labs.hexpert.com and click the IDOR button. Thank you very much for watching, appreciate it, and see you in the next one.